So I want to talk about the use of GK sudo uh, versus sudo. Um, historically, when I edit files, I use a I use VI, which is a terminal application to edit files. But we've been showing you the use of gedit to edit files, and gedit is a graphical um, application, and we've been using sudo gedit. And um, really what we should be using is GK sudo gedit. And um, I'm, I'm just going to show you why that happened or why we should do that. And essentially what happens is with sudo gedit, um, some files can, or when you use sudo in a graphical environment, some files can end up being owned by root. So as an example showing that, we're going to, we'll look at Firefox. So um, if I do pwd, we can see I'm currently in my home directory. I'll just do an ls minus a to show all the hidden uh, files and folders because where we're going to want to go is into the dot dot Mozilla directory and then in there is the Firefox directory. So if I do an ls minus l for long listing and an r capital R for recursively um, if I hit enter um, we can see all these files here are owned um, the owner and group IDs are are myself and now let's go ahead and we'll run that again and we'll pipe that through grep which remembers a search utility and we'll look for the term uh, or for the word root and when we do that we get nothing back so now if we do sudo Firefox and I see I have Firefox open already, so let's close it out. So if I fire Firefox up, type in my password. And now Firefox is open. Let's just go ahead and edit a preference. Let's go in here and, and just put in a, another website. Close it. We can close that back out. Now if we run that command before searching for root, we can say um, a bunch of files here are now owned by root. So um, <clears throat> what I'll do here is I'm just going to um, remove the uh, Firefox directory. So you can see there's nothing there. When I reopen Firefox, it'll recreate that whole directory. So now if I ls, now just ls, we can see Firefox is back. ls minus l recursive one more time grep for root and we see again there's no files owned by root because I essentially deleted them all so now this time if we do gk sudo and then firefox and then we go in and let's just make a change here to do.com and save it and close this back out now if we run it we'll see there are no files owned by root so that properly properly gave us our escalation of privileges and did not give any incorrect permissions um, on any files so when you're you're opening up a graphical letter when you're opening up any graphical application in which you need to escalate privileges like gedit or maybe something like wireshark really you should use gk sudo and not just sudo um, in the majority of cases it really doesn't it's, it's not really going to affect anything most of the files that we're editing are system files and are owned by root anyways so for example if we go here you know one of the files we might be editing is the light dm conf um, so if we do ls minus l here we can see they're owned by root anyways so if we use sudo, it's really not going to affect it. It's just really more when you're into your actual, your own profile, that those files will could be owned by root and, and cause some problems. So hopefully that clarifies um, the use of sudo versus GK sudo and tells you kind of when you should use it. Again, for most of the things that we're doing, it should not affect it. But, you know, technically not doing it right. If you want to technically do it right, you're using a graphical application, use GK sudo, not sudo. Alright, thanks.